Hi folks, how you doing? Russell here, Mind Body Spirit Fitness. Check out the description box for links to the website, social media related topics. Coming at you today with a video on there is no I in Jesus, right? But there is an us. So I, got, I came up with this concept because my cousin always jokes around. They say there's no I in team and he'll always say, but there is a me. All right, so there's no I in Jesus, but there is an us. Why? Because the whole the whole teaching of Jesus is all about community and us and bringing everybody together and building up those around you. So once we get into that I mentality, we're going to fall away from the true teachings of Jesus. Right? And when it comes to me trying to discuss the Catholic faith with a lot of other non-Catholics, other Christians and things like that, one of the big things that I always hear is, I don't think, I don't believe, you know, messages that start with or sentences that start with I. And once again, folks, it, you know, I hate to say it, but God doesn't care what we think, doesn't care what I think, right? God doesn't care what I think. God has set his rules. He has set his teachings. It is our job to follow those teachings and to spread the word, right? So if we're starting sentences with I, 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 well, that's not what it's about. It's about what the Bible teaches, what the church teaches, and what the apostles taught. And we've got to realize that there's a lot, it even says in the Bible, there's a lot of teachings and a lot of things that were not written that the apostles knew. If it was written, it would cover however many books. I think it's in there anyways. I might be misquoting or I might have read it in another Catholic book. But we've got to understand that there's a lot of things that Jesus taught that wasn't written, right? So he preached the parables and then it says that he would actually explain the parables to the apostles when they were alone. So we've got to understand there was a lot of teachings that Jesus taught to the disciples when they were alone. And we just got to get out of that concept of I believe or I think. It's about what the church teaches, what Jesus taught, and what the apostles taught. And if it's in the Bible, right? So there's a lot of these. That's why there's a lot of great books out there by the saints and the church fathers that we need to be reading. That's why the church teaches it's not just the Bible. We've got to go back and see. There are books written by, um, who is it? I can't remember, but by one of the early church fathers and a lot of these are early church father books that are men that lived in 115 AD. That, or that, you know, that's their time frame that they lived. That means this guy was taught directly by almost an apostle of Jesus or they're one person away from an apostle of Jesus. So these are books that we need to read and we need to dive into so we can truly understand what the church thought and what the church taught and what was going on in early Christianity and what they believed so that we don't, we don't uh, get lost and stray away from the true teachings. And that's why I believe the church itself, the Catholic church is the true faith. And like I tell people, if you want the ultimate experience of Christianity, if you want to be held to the highest standard of a Christian lifestyle, you need to get into Catholicism because there is no shortcuts. They're gonna ask the most of you and, and they're gonna expect you to, to do the best that you can to serve God, to serve others, and to make it to heaven. So once again, guys, like I said, there's no I in Jesus, but there is an us, there is a we. All right, so I hope this video helped. Subscribe to the channel, share and like these videos.